But she's gonna like it today, okay? Just like last time, my mum is going to be rating the cake afterwards based on presentation and taste. So make sure you're sticking around to the end of the video to see how I did. I really hope you still enjoy these type of videos. Make sure you comment down below if there's any like special guests you want to see in the series, and I'll be sure to try and get them on the show. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So these are my ingredients, of course. So let's continue talking sort of through what ingredients we're gonna be using today. So obviously, carrot. That's the carrot cake, we need that. We've got some plain flour, we've got some cinnamon, we got baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Brown sugar, vanilla extract, a weighing scale, which is different. I didn't have that last time. See guys, I'm upgrading. All right, I'm getting high tech, you know what I mean? We've got a great top of the carrots, and also we've got eggs, wooden spoon, and some oils. So first, if I remember the recipe correctly, guys, remember, I've never baked a cake before in my life. So, yeah. So first of all, we're gonna get the dry, no. What's first? Carrots, carrots, okay. I think it's about like five carrots. Um, Again. <laughs> Bro. You know what, yeah? This is why they invented scissors. Did you not know that? That's. Bruh. I don't know those. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my washed carrots, right? And now, obviously, I don't have a hairband, so don't mind my hair, all right? So we're gonna grate it with this grater, and I don't know why there's so many carrots, but like, it's carrot cake, so I feel like it's right, you know what I mean? Also, I've never grated a carrot before, so... Bruh. Is that correct? <laughs> why are you laughing? Is that not correct? Why is nothing coming out of it? Move it this way. That's how you do it. But nothing's coming out. This is not correct. How do you do this? Shall I show you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so guys, I had to use the lifeline. I don't know, I don't know. I, I need help, please. <laughs> oh. Look behind it, yeah. Oh. All right, so now, obviously, I've done all of this grating and my arms are a bit, they're hurting a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't chop your finger off. Can you do that? Be careful, don't do it too fast. You can chop your finger off with this, no way. <laughs> no way, you're lying. Is that enough? No, why am I even asking you for help? This is supposed to be Nat's kitchen. I'm supposed to be doing this You're myself. supposed to be the pro. I know, I am. A few moments later. Ah. This is literally making a mess. Oh, I don't understand why it's so messy. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Why are you gripping it like that? Guys, this is so much carrots. Like, right, I'm just gonna put it into this bowl here and put it to the side. Okay, so now that we've done the carrots, we need to do the dry ingredients. And guys, I feel good about this recipe. Like, I feel like baking is so chill and there's no fires going on and there's no rice burning. So I feel like this is gonna be a good day. Okay, so first of all, we need, I think, 250 grams of plain flour. So I've got my little scale here. Okay, okay. So so let's get 250 grams of this. All right, so I put approximately 250 grams of flour. Now we need some baking salsa, okay? And we're gonna put like two teaspoons and this is to help the cake rise. See, I know it's that. Okay, now we've got one and a half teaspoons of grounded cinnamon. That. It smells nice though. It smells like um, you know churros. Is it? No, not churros. Is it churros? No, pretzels or churros. Both of them. They have the cinnamon sugar in it. It smells like that. Guys, you remember when cinnamon challenge was a thing? I done it, and it was 
don't do it. Right? <laughs> it was too, it was horrible. It was actually horrible. Right, so now we're gonna do some light brown sugar, and we need about two, three hundred grams. I don't know if that's too much, but I'm gonna put it in. Right? All right, I'm gonna add it in here until my scale tells me to stop. This seems a lot of sugar this is why when you eat cake you gain weight guys okay guys that's about 200 grams and i feel like i should stop there because 300 grams just seems like too much and i don't want my mum to like have a heart attack you know what i mean it just seems like too much sugar okay so now all we have to do is literally just mix this together oh i can smell the cinnamon cinnamon is really strong you know isn't baking so so sensational so calming so relaxing right so oh my, did you see that guys all that flour <laughs> Look at the shoes. It's alright mate. When you when you're cooking you gotta get messy. Okay, so now that we've done the dry ingredients, we're gonna put that to the side for a second and we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Okay guys, slight dilemma yeah. I just realized I was supposed to add the sugar to the wet mixture. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I only added 200 grams to this, I'm gonna add a remainder of 100 grams to this just to give it the consistency that it's supposed to be. Okay, so first I'm gonna put 250 grams, not grams, 250 milliliters of oil, but I'm measuring it in grams because I don't have a measure. Junk. So let's just add that in. Then we're going to add sugar again. So we're going to zero it. See? Mm. I remember that. Learning. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add about 100 grams of this sugar. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't know if this seems bare wrong to me. <laughs> if this is wrong, it's going to be so embarrassing. Right. Mix that. Ugh, this looks like poo, man. <laughs> Ew, this looks so buttered. I don't know. It looks like a kind of syrup type thing. I don't know. It looks ugly, but it looks nice at the same time. <laughs> 200 grams of the sugar is in here, but it's supposed to be in there. That's why it's like more liquidy, but it's actually supposed to be more of like a big cup ish consistency. But it's all good. Okay, we're gonna make it work. So now, my best friends, eggs. Guys, me and eggs are not friends at the moment, but it's all right because our friendship is getting better. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack an egg and I'm gonna put it in there, but obviously we're gonna do it one at a time and mix it in just to make it a bit more smooth. Ugh. That was actually a good one, that was actually a good one. Right, we're gonna whisk that egg in. Ugh, why is the yolk just chilling there? Why is it doing that? <laughs> why is it just swimming around like this? This, oh my gosh, this actually looks so disgusting. This is so disgusting! It literally looks like a vomit. This is actually so disgusting. Just add more sugar. Add more sugar? Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be too sweet though. The sugar is literally just like clumping down at the bottom and then the oil is like, this is, I don't think this, this is not correct. This is, nah, mm -mm. Mm -mm. This isn't, this isn't right. This isn't right. Bacon is so peaceful. No, so whatever, so whatever. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to improvise. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add more brown sugar, which is not ideal because this is actually exceeding the amount and this is actually going into territory of health and safety risks. But we're going to do it anyway. Come and look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> Looks like vomit. <laughs> Going good, it's not supposed to look like this. Uh, it's making me feel sick even mixing it. Like, I don't even want to, like, I actually feel sick. Okay, cool, it's getting thicker. So, hopefully, okay, yeah, okay, it's getting thicker, it's getting thicker. It's still not the right consistency, but we move. Okay, remember, guys, chefs know how to improvise. And what am I? A chef. So, what can I do? Improvise. What is all, what is this? Oh, it's the egg babies again. Let's take those out, shall we? Do you want some egg babies? Absolutely. Do you want an egg baby? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. ah. <laughs> right, this is the final egg. You, you see the arm strength that I'm exhibiting here. Ugh, look how big that egg baby is. Look at it. Can you see it? I can very much see that. Do you want it? No. Comment down below if you know what these egg babies are. It's like these brown, like, it looks like tadpoles type thing. Okay, now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract again to give it the flavors. So I'm just gonna add that in there. This is looking nice now. Right, now what we're going to do is before we combine these, we need to sort out the cake tin because once we whisk this together, we don't want it sitting by itself for too long. So we've got to make sure that the cake tins are ready to be transferred. All right, so let's get doing that now. Okay, so I've lined up one tin with some parchment paper, bacon paper, yarn all the vibes. So 
I'm going to show you about me doing it for this one. So let's see, we've got this bit here. Why is it being jaggedy now? So when I turn on the camera, that's when you don't want to be behaving correct. So now I'm just going to cut a circle around it. Okay, now we've lined it up with the circular like, parchment paper, but we need to put oil because last time I tried to cook a cheesecake in one of these tins, it literally stuck to the bottom and it never came up. So this time I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm going to line it up with some oil, some vegetable oil to make the bottom of the pan greasy so that it can not stick. Okay, and then also you need to put oil on top as well, just to make sure that it don't stick. Because guys, that's literally the biggest disaster that could ever happen with a cake. Like, imagine you use the cake tin, and then the cake sticks to the cake tin and you can't get the cake out. That's a nightmare, alright? We don't want that happening today, so we're just gonna line that up with some oils. Okay, now that's done, we're gonna put that to the side for a second, and we're gonna deal with, why is it bubbly? Why is it foaming up like this? Bruh. We need to add our carrots because I low-key forgot about them and that's the whole basis of this cake. So we're going to add some carrots to it. Okay, we're going to mix that with... Ugh, this actually looks so disgusting. <laughs> but I feel like this is what it's supposed to look like. And then now we're going to add the carrots to the dry mixture to make the whole batter. Just... This literally looks like poo and vomit and just nastiness, man. And then we're just gonna fold it in. We're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold it in. Like, that's the technique we're using here, folding. Because if you just mix it crazily, it's gonna go everywhere. So you just gotta mix it until it's nice and smooth, okay? Okay, so we need to preheat the oven. I'm gonna put it on about 180 degrees. We're gonna line this up. So we basically, we need to divide this evenly into each tray, because obviously it's a two layer cake. I don't know if I even mentioned that, but it's a two layer cake. That's why we've got two cake tins. This is heavy, boy, jeez. No, it's actually so heavy. I can do this, Tanya. Okay, so just gonna be it into here first. This is bare thin. Is it supposed to be that thin? You'll rise. Right. Oh yeah, it will rise because it's a cake. Duh. I'm so silly, man. Right, I'm just gonna no, no, no. You. You're a chef. Oh, no, I'm a chef. Of course, of course, man. You, you know the vibes. Do you not know the vibes? Chef Natalia out here, okay? Even though I don't even know. Whose kitchen is it? My kitchen. Whose kitchen? My kitchen. Nat's kitchen. Nat's kitchen. Right. Yes. All right. So, um, slight dilemma. I have two right, right mittens. So, just ignore that, okay? So in the meantime, we're gonna make the icing. Okay guys, this is the fun part. Slight issue, as always, is always an issue in that's kitchen for some reason. Basically, first of all, please tell me why none of the shops wanted to have cream cheese. Like, I was trying to find cream cheese. I went to Morrison's, I went to Asda, and none of them were trying to tell me that they have cream cheese. So then the next best alternative was Philadelphia, which I know is soft cheese, but like, I Googled it and it basically said that I can kind of use Philadelphia. Second problem, I'm supposed to actually be using like 250 grams, but I didn't think that this container is only 180 grams. So we also have less Philadelphia than we're supposed to. But it's all right, okay? I haven't poked a hole properly. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie yeah. for the longest time, in fact, my whole life, I really thought Philadelphia was butter. Like, am I the only one? Like, I genuinely thought this was butter. <sighs> Scoop that whole thing in there. Let's have a whiff. Smells like feet. Whose feet smells like this? <laughs> you, know, you know when your feet sweat. I don't know about your feet, but my feet don't smell like this. Guys, one of those feet smells like Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get every last drop because obviously we're um, malnourished at the moment. We ain't got enough of the continent, so we've got to make sure we scrape every last bit. The same way you when you scrape your rice and you get every last grain, you make sure you get every last bit in there. Okay. Make sure your cake's not burning. Oh yeah, obviously, you don't need to tell me to check my cake. I know to check my cake. Let's see how the cake's doing. Oh, oh, oh the camera's steaming up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It smells beautiful, doesn't it, cameraman? 
Yeah. She looks gorgeous, mate. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And right. We're gonna whisk this with our handy mixer. Um, don't remember how it works. Uh, maybe you wanna start by turning the plug on. I need that. Oh. I'm just deep in like the lack of cream cheese we have here. Like this is literally barely anything. I don't know how it's supposed to feed the whole cake, but yeah. Improvisation. 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 Now here we've got our powdered sugar. I don't know if you can call it powdered sugar. It's what's it called? Icing sugar. Icing sugar. And we're just gonna add it in bit by bit though. Not all at once, okay guys. We've got to do it bit by bit. So chef, why do we do it bit by bit? We do it bit by bit to stop it from clumping up. But it's looking very nice and smooth. Yum. Oh, check the cake. Oh yes. Rising, love it. Guys, I'm actually so excited for this cake. Like, I feel like it's gonna come out so nice. A nice little birthday cake for the mumsy. Right now we need about 80 milliliters of whipping cream and thankfully it has the measurements on there. Oh, Ooh, it's like milk. We're gonna whisk this and I'm a bit cautious because this is literally liquid. So I don't really know, like is it gonna squirt out everywhere? No comment. Monoir, <laughs> this is not no science experiment. Let me put on the lowest one. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe you wanna put it in there first and then turn it on. Guys, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, let me stand back. <laughs> what do you mean let me stand back? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, it's gone. So in here. Okay guys, now it's time to check if the cakes are ready. They've been in here for about 30 minutes, I wanna say. So we're just gonna check if they're ready. Ooh. Oh, it's definitely burning on the edges, oh. but it's all right. Guys, this oven is actually a scam because the light in there makes the cake look lighter than it actually is, but here it looks bare black <laughs> and burnt. But in there, in there, in there, it looks bare look golden yellow. brown. yellow. So we've got a toothpick. I really hope these burnt edges don't affect the appearance of my cake. Let's drop it in like that. And yeah, oh, it feels very spongy. Is that ready? That is ready. So now we're gonna try and take it out of the tin and this is literally where everything could go wrong. So this is really the moment of truth. I've got a cake tin where I can just open the latch like this so hopefully that'll make things easier. Oh, I'm scared, is it gonna open up? Okay, cool, let's see. <gasps> okay, 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 first step done, okay. <laughs> Why does it look so thin? <laughs> It actually looks bare thin in it. It smells really good though. Guys, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, cool. It should just pop off. Oh, this cake is a bit hard. A bit crusty. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no. How am I gonna do this? Okay, wait. <gasps> I think it can come off. Right, I don't really know. Right, I'm gonna use a knife because I don't really know how I'm supposed to get this out. These edges are actually so crusty. Like mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I think it's lifting up now. Oh. Whoa, let's not drop the cake. Guys, imagine if I drop the cake. That would be so tragic, innit? Okay, oh! This, ah! Oh, you lot saw that, innit? Oh! Oh my gosh, I've done it! Okay, let's flip it over. I've done it! It didn't stick to the bottom! Guys, I told you so, I'm a baker. These edges are actually really crusty. I think we, I think I left it in for a bit too long. But it's all right, hopefully the inside is still, um... Oh! 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 Guys, I wonder if I drop the cake. That would be so tragic, isn't it? No, my heart is drunk. Oh my gosh, okay, cool. Oh my days, guys, that was so scary. This is satisfying, okay, watch this. Yes, some more. Look at the set I've got. Don't play with me. I came prepared. I've got the whole icing spatula. Okay, and that's what we're going to use to ice the cake. Nat's kitchen. Nat's kitchen. Nat's kitchen. Nah. Okay, so this is our bottom layer. So we're going to put the icing on this layer first. We're just going to put that on there. I don't have a lot of icing, which is kind of a problem. So we're really layering this thin. But it's all right. Like, we don't need that much icing. And my mum's not really a sweet person anyway. So this is very messy icing. I know if you're a cake baker and you're watching me, you're probably thinking what the hell she did. But it's alright because I'm a chef. 
Chef. Chef. Get all the corners. Yeah, all the corners in a circle because circles have corners in it. Shut up! All of the edges, all of the diameters, or no, the circumferences. That's the word. I don't know how these bakers make this look bare neat. Like, this is actually kind of hard. Yes. Look at my icing. Don't play with me. Look at the stance. I think that bottom layer is sufficient. Right, let's put the other half on. I'm going to place it on carefully. This is one big cake, you know. Right, now to do the top layer. And this one actually has to look nice because this is literally like the top layer. Like literally everyone can see it. This is the technique that we're using. Techers. Yes. Boy. Turn it as well. Turn. Oh yeah, when you turn it, yeah. This, this is real, like, this is real business here. You don't play about here. Okay guys, I'm gonna put some on the side. I wouldn't normally, but because it looks a bit messy, I'm gonna put some on the sides as well. I don't, I'm not really experienced in this, the meat, in this department of icing on the sides of cakes, but I'm just improvising, okay? A few moments later. Okay guys, change of plans. That looks so messy. So I probably shouldn't have done that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, when I present it to her, I'm just not gonna show that, that area there. Okay, so this is not the best of icing and obviously at the back we've got this monstrosity going on back here so we're just gonna we're just gonna hide that when she sees it it's gonna be like that and she will never know that it was there right okay now it's time for decoration and this is the fun part obviously i did just ice it but i'm talking candles because remember it's her birthday okay before we put the candles on we're going to put some walnuts on this problem is i am allergic to nuts so i hope that when i open this and i get a whiff of the smell of nuts i don't pass out on these lots. okay put one there one there we're not gonna put too much because I don't think she even likes nuts like that. <laughs> this is looking so cute. They didn't have the number three. So today, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, put the number 46. Put a little six. Yeah, that looks nice. Look at it. Look at it. That looks nice. It looks nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the finished product. Let's finally present this to my mom. Mom! Are you ready? Yeah. So basically, first of all, don't open your eyes. <laughs> no, open. I'm gonna put a sachet on you because it's your birthday. Oh, thank you! Oh. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to do some cake. It's my birthday. Yeah, now you're the birthday girl. So take a seat, birthday girl. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Where's the seat? Where's the seat? Right, right I'm gonna do the honors of lighting the cake. Oh! Yes! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Open your eyes in three, two, one. Open! I don't know my eyes. Oh my gosh, the camera's gonna blow out. Okay. Happy birthday <laughs> to another 10 years to my life yeah. that I haven't even lived exactly. yet. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I pray I get to see 46. <laughs> this looks so, what? Okay, you might, want, you might not want to look back in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just focus we just, on we just focus on the front. Like, sort of mm -hmm. yeah. Is this a walnut cake? No, it's a carrot oh. cake. Oh, it's a carrot cake. Yeah. I'm going to blow your candle. Can you blow your candle? Okay, okay. Make a wish. You need to finish singing the rest of happy birthday. Okay. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Gang, gang, gang. Happy birthday to you. Gang, gang, gang. Happy birthday to mom. mom. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah! So far, what, what this is the presentation. This looks really good. Yay! Like, this is a massive cake. How, I know. How, how do you bake a massive cake like this? Like, Skills. Like, I'm a chef at you. Okay, right now. okay. Chef. No, this looks really, really good. I'm loving how it's all nice and smoothed out the, the icing. Mm -hmm. It's a big old cake. It's a big cake for yeah, you. But you deserve a big cake on your big day. 
Period. Period. Okay, so what would you rate based on presentation? Presentation, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Four out of five. I'll take that. That's a good. Out four out of five. That's yeah. good. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. You gotta cut your cake, love. It smells really good. Really? Mm, it smells like cake. Yeah, because it is cake. Not with a knife and fork, mum. That's how you cut a cake. I can't believe you cooked a big cake. Yeah. I'm, I'm upgrading, Mum. I'm leveling it up. You actually cooked a big cake from the cupcake. Mm -hmm. So I'm oh, now upgrading to a whole, a whole cake. cake. Two layers. Let me go cut it. I like the how you put the little walnuts on top yeah. of it. Give it, give it that like now. Oh, is it a bit? Oh. Is it a bit? Oh, okay. Um, is it a bit? It's, 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 it's rock hard. It's kind of rock hard, isn't it? Just a, just a little bit. But it's all right, I've got through it. It's fine if the cake is rock hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh! Oh. Don't drop it, Mum! I'm not gonna drop it. it it's actually quite moisturised on the inside. Yeah. It's yeah. just the edges that are a little bit hard. Oh, it looks really good. It looks very moisturised. You put cream in between and everything. Yeah, because it's two layers. Ooh! Right, Taste you ready? Yeah. Wow, it's very sweet. How much sugar do you put in this? <laughs> that's how you poured the whole sugar in there. 300 grams. I don't know if that's too much, but I'm gonna put it anyway, all right? And what's it about that? Like, um, oh, it's very like soft yeah. and moist. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the fact that it's moist. Mm -hmm. I can taste the carrot, but I feel like it's been overpowered by the sugar. Does it, it taste is, like carrot cake? It does taste like carrot cake, but mm -hmm. it is also very, very sweet. Okay. It's like a very sweet carrot cake. Okay. So what do you rate it? It actually tastes really, really nice. Oh! It's a nice, it's a well made cake. Yes. The crust obviously is rock hard, a little bit. But other than that, I think I'm going to give the taste a four out of five. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Just because of the sugar. But yeah. it, it does taste really, really nice. But oh, thank you so much for getting out of here. Thank you, boo. Got myself a birthday cake or whatever. Mm. 46. I'm 36. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a success. I think I got 8 out of 10, and I think that's actually quite good. So, comment down below any other video types you want to see on this series, and as well as any people you want to see, any special guests, and I'll be sure to get that done. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm close to 50k, guys, so let's get me there soon. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Y'all better subscribe to my daughter's okay, channel. Mom.